Hi and welcome to this video lecture on the topic of velocity analysis. The analysis of mechanism if you just talk about the analysis part. Okay. Now what is analysis? Analysis is the study of motion and forces in reference to their different parts. Okay, so this is what analysis is. And in the study of velocity analysis we will study the linear velocities of various parts uh, various points on different lengths of a mechanism okay so we would be studying about linear velocities and also about angular velocities so these two velocities are calculated in the velocity analysis study okay now the velocity analysis is a prerequisite for acceleration analysis in which we study the acceleration of different points on different links of a mechanism. So before if you go on to study acceleration you need to study what velocity analysis is. Okay. Now to make such a study or analysis that is velocity analysis a machine or a mechanism is represented by a line diagram. Okay, and this line diagram, if I write down line diagram, this line diagram is also known as configuration diagram. And how we go about drawing it, this we will look at in the velocity analysis section. So this is known as configuration diagram. Okay, now before we go on to uh, study about how to draw uh, velocity diagrams and configuration diagrams let us first of all look at some basic concepts of vectors now we all know what vectors are vectors are physical quantities which have direction as well as magnitude this is we all know since childhood isn't it so direction plus magnitude now if I have a point A here, this is point A, and I draw a vector like this, and the end point is B. Okay, this is called the tail of the vector. So this is my tail of the vector, and this thing is the head of the vector. And this vector will be represented as vector AB. Okay, now if I reverse the direction and this B becomes my tail and A becomes my head so this will be written as B A vector which is the opposite of A B vector provided vector A B and vector B A are parallel then only you can put a negative sign otherwise not okay now this vector A B vector this may also represent velocity of a body B relative to body A. Okay, so I will write it down. This might represent the velocity of body B relative to body A. Okay, now if body A is fixed, if you say this point is fixed, then this velocity is called absolute velocity I'll keep on putting these points here okay if your point A is fixed then the velocity represented by vector AB this is known as absolute velocity okay now second if both bodies A and B are in motion if both A and B are in motion then the velocity which is represented by vector AB this is a velocity vector AB this is read as the velocity of B with respect to A this is the velocity of B with respect to A assuming that body A is fixed for a moment okay so this is the 
velocity of b relative to a now this is only possible when we assume a to be fixed for a moment a to be fixed for a small moment of time so when both the bodies are moving we come to a concept of a relative velocity and when only one point is moving and the other point is fixed we call it an absolute velocity okay